and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Anakin Skywalker. So to make them, what you're going to need is you're going to need strip dark oak wood, black terracotta, gray terracotta, gray concrete, black wool, cyan terracotta, light gray concrete, light gray wool, spruce planks, and for later on, you'll need white terracotta, brown terracotta, light gray terracotta, blue wool, white wool, and terracotta. Pause the video and get all these materials, and let's get started. So to start off with the statue, what you want to do is you want to place eight strip dark oak wood on the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then on top of that, you want to stack another two solid rows of dark oak wood. Then what you want to do is you want to do two black terracotta, six, four dark oak wood, two black terracotta. For the next row, you want to do one gray terracotta, one black terracotta, four dark oak, one black terracotta, one gray terracotta. And for the next two rows, you want to do one gray terracotta, two black terracotta, well, one black terracotta, four dark oak, one black terracotta, one gray terracotta. Like I said, that is for the next two rows. For the next row, you want to do one gray terracotta, one black terracotta, four gray concrete, one black terracotta, one gray terracotta. And repeat that for another two rows. So, there's one. And there's um actually a stand corrected break the third row and replace that gray part with black wool leaving it like that then for the next row what you want to do is you want to do one gray terracotta one black terracotta one gray concrete two cyan terracotta one gray concrete, one black, one gray. And repeat that for the next three rows. So, one, two, three. Okay. For the next row, once you've done those three rows, what you want to do is you want to do one gray terracotta, one black, one gray concrete, one cyan, one gray concrete, one black, actually make that a light gray, and then one gray. For the next row, you want to do one gray, one black, to make that six black five and then this should be a light gray wool and then a gray terracotta like that for the next row you want to do one gray one black three spruce oh um let me fix this here. Yeah, that is supposed to be three. Then what you want to do is you want to break these two rows here. This one a gray, this one a light gray, and then this one a gray. That's what it's supposed to look like. Mess that up because on the fi picture it's one block out. Once you fix that little detail, go back and do one black and one gray. To finish that row off. Then for the next row, you want to do one gray, one black, four black, one light gray wool, one black, one gray. 
For the next row, you want to do one black. I mean, one gray, one black, one gray concrete, one black wool, one strip dark oak, one gray concrete, one black, one gray. And do the same thing for the next row, so just repeat that row that you just had. There we go. For the next two rows, what you want to do is you want to do one gray, one black, one cyan, one black, one dark oak, one cyan, one black, one gray. Like I said, for the next two, so just repeat what you have for this next row. Once you have that, what you then want to do is you want to do one black, I mean one gray, one black, one cyan, two dark oak, one cyan, one black, one gray. For the next row, oh, darn it, I messed this thing up. Okay, on both sides, replace those two with your black terracotta, like that. Okay, then for the next row, what you want to do is you want to do one black, one gray concrete, one cyan, two spruce, one cyan, one gray, one black. For the next row, you want to do one black, two cyan, grab out your white terracotta, so get rid of the spruce and replace it with white terracotta, two white terracotta, two cyan, and one black. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. Once you've done all that, what you want to do is you want to come to either side of the statue. To make it easier, this side's a little bit easier to tell. You want to place it one block under the light gray. So, right about here. So, one, two, three, four. Then do the same exact thing on the other side. So, one, two, three, four. Never mind. This side wants to be completely different. For this side, what you want to do is you want to do two black terracotta, then grab out, get rid of the strip dark oak and grab out your brown terracotta and do two brown, like that. So I'm actually going to start on, whoops, the um, right arm. No, the left. What you then want to do is for the next row, going from left to right, you want to do one brown terracotta, one black, two black wool. For the next row, you want to do a solid row of gray, then a solid row of black wool, then a solid row of black terracotta. For the next row, you want to do one gray terracotta, one black, two gray. For the next row, you want to do one gray, one black wool, one black, one gray. For the next row, you want to do two gray. Wait. Yeah, that's right. One black wool, one black. For the next row, do two gray, one black, one gray. I mean, one black. For the next row, you want to do three gray, one black wool. Then you want to do the same thing for the next row. 
so like that. Then to finish it off, do a solid row of gray terracotta, leaving you with something that should look like this. For the other side, what you want to do is get rid of your light gray and grab out light gray terracotta. And going from left to right, what you want to do is you want to do two light gray, then two white terracotta. Then do solid row of gray terracotta, solid row of black wool, solid row of black terracotta. Then what you want to do is you want to do two gray, one black, one gray. For the next row, you want to do one gray, one black, one black wool, one gray. For the next row, you want to do one black, one black wool, two gray. Then do the same thing for the next row, so like that. Then for the next two rows, you want to do one black, three gray. Like I said, that is for the next two. Then finish it off with your gray terracotta. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. Once you have done that, it's time to move on to, um, let me see something here, the back. So what you want to do, you want to come to the back here and let's grab out, get rid of your light gray wool and grab out your <laughs> strip dark oak. Then what you want to do is you want to go back by three, so one, two, three, on either side, so one, two, three, and just finish it off with your dark oak. Then what you want to do for the next row is you want to do one gray, one black, one brown, two gray, one brown, one black, one gray, like that. Then for the next row, you want to do two gray, one black, two brown, one black, two gray. For the next row, do um, one brown, one gray, well two gray, two black, two gray, one brown. For the next row, you want to do one gray, one brown, one gray, actually four gray, one brown, one gray. For the next row, you want to do one gray, one black, one brown, two gray, one brown, one black, one gray. Then you want to do two gray, one black, two gray, one black, two gray. Then you want to do two gray, one black, two brown, one black, two gray. And three gray, two black, three gray. And do that for the next four rows. Basically up to the top of the arms. So, yeah, that is four. So one, two, three, four. Like I said, that is for the next four rows. Oh. So let me fill this in here. I was just doing that to make it simpler, but yeah. There we go. For the next row, or the first row of the arms, you have to do the same exact thing. So 
was actually for the next five. But then what you want to do to make this simpler is you want to do two black, then two brown on either side marking out the arms. Like that. That way we can start where the arms are whenever we come back down. Then for the next row, what you want to do is you want to do two gray, four black, two gray. For the next row, you want to do one gray, one black, four gray, one black, one gray. Actually, I stand corrected. This wants to be brown terracotta like it was going to do before. And I accidentally broke that block there. For the next row, you want to do two brown, four gray, two brown. For the next row, you want to do one brown, six gray, one brown. Then you want to do two gray, four brown, two gray. Then move up a row, one brown, one gray, one brown, six gray, four, one brown, one gray. For the next row, do one brown, six gray, one brown. Then you want to do two gray, four brown, two gray. Then do one brown, I mean one gray, one brown, four black, one brown, one gray. For the next row, do one brown, one black, four gray, one black, one brown. Then for the last and final row, you want to do one black, six gray, one black. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. Then, what you want to do is go over to the right side, and I can tell you here's one thing about it, only there's a slight difference. They're almost exactly identical, just the whole difference is the other arm is a different base color. But literally what you want to do is you just want to copy what you have on the front. That's really all you want to do. So, I don't really think I have to explain it. Just match what you have on the front, and that's it. Ain't much to it, so. Um. Then once you have that side, like that, you want to come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So, and like I said, it is just straight up copying. So whatever you have on the front, you want to copy over to the back. So, that makes it a whole lot easier. Oh, okay, that one wants to go down on that. That's the main reason why I'm not explaining it, because it's pretty simple to figure out what it is. Once you have that, and the back looks a little bit like this, you want to come over to... Um, let me see here if both sides are identical. Yep. Yeah. To either side, 
I'm going to be going over to the left. And what you want to do is you want to do for the row right above, you want to do two black terracotta. Um, oh, I do already have it out. It's right here. One strip dark oak wood. One gray. For the next row, you want to do one black, one gray. Then do one dark oak, one black, then do one gray, one black, one, one gray, one dark oak. Then finish off the legs with a, with gray terracotta. So that's what the bottom should look like. Then you want to move on to the top, and for here, to make it simple, just do that. This, if you want to, you can make it into black terracotta. It's all up to you guys. It's your statue. Then, for the next row, you want to do a solid row of brown, then do one light gray, one gray, then one light gray, one black wool, then a solid row of black terracotta, then a solid row of gray, two black, two gray, one black, one gray, one gray, one black. Then finish it off with your gray terracotta. Then come in by three with your gray terracotta. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. Once you have that, all you want to do is you want to come over to the other side. And do the same exact thing. So... Just match what you have. That's a mis mix match of blocks. So. Just gotta line it up. And down here you can just do the white terracotta. Okay, let me pull back up my plants here. Where's the face? There it is. Okay, so once you've done that. What you want to do is you want to come over to the top of your statue and you want to place eight white terracotta in a row. Then come forward by two. This thing turns up way too quickly. Then what you want to do is you want to get rid of your uh, gray terracotta, gray concrete, uh, keep the black wool, cyan terracotta, and the rest you can keep, except for stripped dark oak wood. And then what you want to do is you want to grab out terracotta, white wool, and blue wool. Just move that closer together. So, what you then want to do for the next row is you want to do three white terracotta, 
then two terracotta, then three white. For the next row, do a sod row of white terracotta. Then you want to do one terracotta, two light gray, two white, two light gray. Make that three light gray. Then for the next row, you want to do one terracotta, one white wool, one blue, two white, one blue, one white, one gray. For the next row, you want to do three black, two white, three black. For the next row, you want to do one terracotta, four white, so one, two, three, four, one terracotta, one brown, two brown. For the next row, you want to do one brown, one black, two brown, oh wait, oops, I'm skipping a row, you want to do, okay, break all those blocks, then what you want to do is you want to do one brown, two white, one black, four brown. For the next row, which is actually a part of a 3D element, you want to do, I don't know if I should do the row or not, I'm going to do it, one brown, one black, two brown, one black, two brown, leaving you with something that should look like that. And do not place a block there. Because that row is not actually supposed to be there. It's a added row. Then what you want to do is you want to come over to the back. And let me see if there are any ear details. Sort of. The two sides are different. Yeah, they are. Okay, so, let's do this, bring this back by one with your white terracotta, then on this side, do one brown and one black. Then, this you do want to bring over, and that you do want to bring over. Then it should come back by two with your brown terracotta. Well, concrete, I want to say. Then on this side, what you want to do, which is the left side, you want to go back by two with your white terracotta. Then on top of that, Put one white terracotta, leaving you with something that looks like this. Then for the other side, you want to do two white terracotta. Then stack that up by two. Yeah. Then once you have those, come over to the back. And what you want to do is you want to count in by four. On the right, so one, two, three, four. Break these two blocks and replace them with black terracotta. For the next row, you want to do two brown, one black, six brown. For the next row, you want to do the same exact thing. So two brown, one black, six brown. For the next row, you want to do one brown, one black, three brown, one black, two brown. Then finish the rest of it off with your solid three, four rows of brown terracotta. So one, two, three, four. 
and then just connect it up at the top here. So, like that. If you're wondering why I did not do this, it's because that is a part of a little 3D element. And as a matter of fact, on the back, if you want to make it easier, you can count in by two, and then count in four, leaving something that should look like that. So once you've done that, what you then want to do is you want to come to either side. Well, not either side because both sides are different. So I'm going to start on the left. And what you want to do, starting from this white terracotta right here, you want to do two brown, one black, one brown. Then you want to do two brown, one black, two brown. Then do six brown, two, three, four, actually five. And one black. For the next two, just do two solid rows of brown terracotta. Then do four brown, two black. Then you want to break this right here, like that. Then coming up, starting here, you want to do one brown, one black, one brown. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. And I'm honestly just doing that so that it makes it a tad bit easier. Then what you want to do is you want to come over to the other side. And what you want to do is you want to place one black, four brown. Then come back over, do one brown, one black. Four brown, then do two brown, one black, two brown. Why don't you say three? For the next row, do one brown, one black, two brown, one black, one brown. For the next row, do Is that black or wool? That's black chair kind of. Looks like wool. One black, one brown, one black, three brown. For the next row, you want to do one brown, one black, four brown. And as a matter of fact, there is not an extra row here. So then what you want to do is just fill in the top with your brown terracotta leaving that top row exposed then what you want to do is come to the top right above the head what you want to do is bring all of these and just connect them and this wants to come back by an extra three then just fill that shape in with your brown terracotta. Leaving that shape on the top of the head. Once you have that, there's just one little detail you can add. Grab back out your light gray and gray wool. And bring this thing out by one. Once you've done that, this is the Anakin Skywalker statue, fully complete. Um, and I hope you guys have a nice day, and I will see you guys next time. A good, a good bye.